What is up YouTube XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to install a program called ShareX and an overview of the software. Now you're probably wondering what the hell is ShareX? ShareX is a really super cool program for screenshotting and I know this sounds really stupid and a lot of people are like well you know we've got Gaiazo, we've got some other free pieces of software out there but I'm telling you this piece of software is amazing. I highly highly recommend using this. I've been using this for ages. I've recommended it to a few other more Orders, my girlfriend, a lot of other people and they absolutely love this program. It's free, it's also open source, they update it all the time as you can see on their website getsharex.com I will leave a link in the description below. We're on version 10.6 in this point in time, it will be updated guaranteed in the near future. So as you can see it only has 58,000 downloads on it, I'm really surprised because this software is really fast, it's really really handy and I'm going to show you how to install it and why this is such a good piece of software. So first things first, obviously go ahead in the description below, click on getsharex.com, go to the download button, click download and save it to your desired location. I'm just going to put it on my desktop and hit save. Once you've downloaded it, you'll be prompted with a installation wizard like so. Pretty easy from here, just simply click next, save it to wherever you want. I'm going to just save it to my program files, next. And you can also run the ShareX program on Windows Startup. If you don't like this, then obviously uncheck this. So I'm just going to leave this on for now. But obviously this will start up when your computer is turned on. So we're going to hit next, install, and it's a really, really quick installation. I'm going to launch this now. As you can see, I do have an error popping up here because I have Dropbox enabled and it's not liking one of the hotkeys that I have previously selected. So this area here is basically a drag and drop files dialog. So you can drag and drop any image into here and do different things like edit the image, upload it to a website such as Imager and do different kind of things in here. So that's pretty cool on that part. We're going to be using this program obviously to capture our screen and take some really nice screenshots. So the reason why I like this is because it's really fast and you can set up hotkeys. Now you can maybe do this on other programs but I think this works really really best and the quality of the pictures come out really really nice and you can change the formats of the actual pictures as well. So we have some options in this window. We have capture. Now if you click here there is a lot of actions. So we have auto capture, web capture, scrolling. We have gif for you know gif recordings and stuff like that. Last region, freehand so you can draw with your mouse the section that you want and it will take a screenshot of that. We also have different shapes like polygon, region transparent, so the background's transparent, region light, region with annotations for text. Then we also have monitors. So as you can see, I'm using two different monitors here. So if you want to screenshot the whole monitor, you would simply select that and it would take a screenshot. Now window is really, really handy. As you can see, I have a lot of Audacity's open, action, Skype, ShareX the website and ShareX the program. So you can easily just click this and it will take a screenshot of the actual window that's open. So if we click ShareX for example, as you can see 100% done, it was 29 kilobytes and it will upload straight to Imager or wherever your desired location is. So as you can see down here we have the link. So this is automatically copied to your clipboard but if you hover over this section here, it's like a, a little notification, um, it, you can basically keep it on screen until it disappears. You can click on this and it will take you directly to the picture that is uploaded straight to Imager. So you can obviously send this to someone and this will never expire unless you want it to. So I think that's really handy on that part how you can capture a window without actually setting the region yourself. But obviously if you do want to select the region yourself you can also do that within the capture options. So coming back into the file window here. So we have the name of the picture and it's also a .png file. We have the status which obviously means that it's done and when it's uploading you can see the percentage pending on your internet speed, time it took to upload and the URL. But if we actually right click here, we have some other options such as open the URL, thumbnail, deletion URL, file and folder. You can also copy the URL and do different things within here as well. And if you click the upload button, that will actually upload it again to the imager with a new link. Now you're probably wondering, well, why is it using Imager as default? Now you can actually change it. So if you go to destinations and then image uploader, you can see that Imager is selected first, but you also have some other options here like tinypic, vigi.me, I think that's how you pronounce that, I'm not entirely sure, some image and some other options here like send space and some other ones such as FTP, Dropbox, OneDrive, and the list goes on. So you have a variety here. There is a lot to choose from. I personally like Imager because I browse Imager a lot. It's really, really fast to upload and I suppose 
dispose their servers are really really quick as well so I like to use Imgur but if you do want to upload somewhere else you can do so. So earlier on the video I was talking about hotkeys now I really like this for using hotkeys so if you go into hotkey settings you can see that I already have some set I have alt Q alt plus Q for capture region which basically means just you know whatever you select will be captured and automatically upload to Imgur. So I'll show you an example so all you need is the program open but actually in the system tray so if you see this icon down here then you know it's obviously open and is running in the background and all you would do is press alt q and you can see we have a really nice interface here so we have the whole screen has frozen so if you do have a video or something that's playing in the background it will freeze it and you have some options up here like hide hold left click to select the region and the list goes on from there as well but if you want to take a simple screenshot you just drag and drop and literally it's as simple as that it tells you the coordinates as well which is really really cool and another major feature here is the pixel so if you scroll in and out you can see that there's more pixels on the screen so you can get really in depth so if i highlight over my mouse here you can see how zoomed in that is and you can zoom in and zoom out so you can really really adjust your pictures like so we have a few other options here but it's mostly self-explanatory one more thing that i will show you and that is the screenshots folder you can set this within the actual program to a destination of your choice by going into application settings then into paths and then select the sharex personal folder and select it to wherever you want it to be that will basically save every picture that you're taking into a folder locally on your hard drive or depending on where you have it maybe a usb or ssd and also upload it to imager or wherever you have that Save as well so if you we go into the screenshots folder you can see I have some other screenshots and it sorts them out nice and organized go back in and you can see that I've been using this for months I previously installed ShareX again as you can see it makes the folder month by month which is really really handy so if you want to go back and you know you remembered that you took a screenshot go back into the previous month and you'll have all the screenshots there so that pretty much covers ShareX it's a really nice handy program I do recommend using this program over Gaiazo it's very 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 well built props to the owners i hope i've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace